Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Who the f you think you're talking to? It's your girl Neek, and you're tuned in to Neek at Night. Okay, so I am laughing my butt off of the newest video of this Bone Thugs and Harmony versus Migos saga. They have been going back and forth with each other, and at first, I kind of was on Bone Thugs' side because I'm like, you know what I'm saying? They the OGs, and it ain't all about money. It's about lyrics, and it's about, you know, all of that, but I hadn't covered it yet. But before I got a chance to cover it, things are just spiraling out of control, and I'm looking at Bone Thugs and Harmony like, what is going on? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, y'all know in my videos when I cover a topic, I like to give y'all all the tea all in one wop. So let's go back to the beginning of where this all started and let's get these let's 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 just break this all down because I just I can't I can't. So anyways, Lazy Bone decided to post a clip of the Migos freestyling on some radio station. And their freestyle was kind of like kids bop amateur, not really like flowing. And it was kind of like, what's going on? Fresh street in the nighttime. Woo, woo. In the kitchen with the bot uh. Woo. In the kitchen on the radio. Woo. Uh, 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 there we go. Hello. And so in the caption of the video, Lazy Bone wrote and he said, what the F is this clown-ish and the clown trophy goes to at Migos. Matter of fact, take three trophies. FYI, this video is posted sideways purposely for coming at some real G's sideways. Y'all gonna have to do a lot better than that. And by the way, if you ends would have claimed the greatest ad libs, I would have agreed. Skirt, skirt, woot, woot. T-F-O-O-H, um, I guess the fuck out of here, I don't know. I don't know if the Migos clapped at them before this, but this is the first origin of the back and forth that I seen. So it was this video that was posted to show like, you know, that they can't really rap and that they're like kind of whack at what they're doing. Six o'clock, it's on the bridge, drink the wrist out. Rock on my wrist, ain't no G-Shop, G-Shop. Diamonds on my wrist, ain't no G-Shop, no, no. Ain't no nigga working with that gang, we go with it. So then after that, the Migos kind of clap back by saying that they make more money. So they kind of threw their bank account at him like, you know, you over here talking about what we doing, but we got more money than you. And this is where I kind of sided with Lazy Bone because when it comes to rap, it's about skill. And that's what the game should be about. But now in this day and era, it's not really about skill anymore. It's about who can sell the most BS song and get people to have like a catchy dance or whatever. And so, you know, I kind of was agreeing with him at first. So Offset kind of wrote and he said, let's have a bankroll challenge. And Lazy Bone replied and he said, nah, and that's what's wrong with y'all ends. Y'all think money equal respect. It doesn't. This is a skills challenge. Me against you and my group against yours. Best group ever challenge. Get your bars up, youngin. You gonna need that bread for early retirement, boy. So then the Migos uh, manager, CEO, the guy who founded them, the guy who behind the group, whatever his title is. Anyways, the guy QC or whatever, um, QCP, whatever. I don't know, whatever. Anyway, so he kind of tried to co-sign like they're worth $50 million, you know, trying to show like what the Migos net worth is on his Instagram story. And then he also kind of alluded that Lazy Bone was clout chasing by posting up and saying clout chasing at an all time high now. But then Lazy Bone replied to the Shade Room because this kind of back and forth that they had was on the Shade Room comments. And Lazy Bone says, at the shade room, repost my message. A N will never count my pockets. Where they do that at? Not Cleveland. And then he says, real N still talking about money? Good job. I pray you do some good on earth. Money ain't got ish to do with skills or being great. I don't brag much, but we have raised our families off of music facts. Change countless lives with the messages of hope and moreover God's greatness and graciousness. Nonprofit organizations that I need not dare to be braggadocious about. Until you can say that, don't talk to me about no goddamn money you can't take with you. For what is it to gain the world but lose your soul? Question mark. In this case, your legacy. So with this 
part, I kind of agree because I'm like, you know, it's not always about the money. And that's something that Nicki Minaj always does. Like when there's like the best rapper conversation, she always throws, well, I have this much money. And all the time, it's not about how much money you have. It's about your skill level. Are you constantly putting out hits? But are you able to be skillful throughout? And that's kind of, you know, what I cited with Lazy Bone because it's not always about money. We gonna let the debate rise and we gonna, I'm about to troll y'all niggas for real. Uh, we can meet up at any microphone. We just talking about rapping right now. I don't know how personal y'all niggas wanna get, but I don't give a fuck. I just wanted to clear my chest cause I was running through this airport out here in Denver. Sold out show, by the way, thank you Fillmore. Sold out once again 25 years later. Matter of fact, I don't even think you niggas got one song that's going to be here 25 years from now. Y'all ain't touch nobody hard. It's all, y'all, what y'all going to do? Pray to the, uh, to the, to the, uh, <laughs> to the, uh, fashion gods. That's what y'all doing. Okay, so then you know the lazy bone was like you know i'm about to put my skills to the test and i'm about to do this this record and i'm about to uh go in on them he either dropped this on christmas or maybe a day after christmas i'm not sure but anyways it says out of respect for the holidays and the families i waited for grown folk time for the shenanigans meet hashtag grinch bone the thug that stole Christmas from the Migos savagely. So I guess this was his diss track. And in his diss track, he went at 21 Savage and the Migos. They pray for where's your boss. I'll set you just the gloss. Get out the way in the Migos. And 21 Savage heard it. And he felt like it was whack. He felt like it was a whack track. And he was like, um, you know, he thought that it was going to be better. And it wasn't. I thought that. Be hard, cause I love out here. Oh, but that shit whack as a mother. I'm talking about, bro. That's probably the weakest diss song I ever heard in my life. No cap. No cap. Like what the, f bro? Who the hell let that man put that shit out, man? That nigga homeboys ain't. And then I guess 21 Savage also, in addition to that, said something about Lazy Bone's wife. I couldn't find those receipts, but this is what Lazy Bone had to say in response to him calling out his wife, saying that she eat pork chops and all this. Like, boy, you over here doing too much. Hey, if it get to the point... Where it get to the point, like, just like the nigga Savage did. Bringing families in and all that. Let's get it. Let's, let's, let's call up Lil J from Rapping Lot. He one of the biggest boxing promoters in the world now. Let's tell him to get us a fight on pay-per-view. Let's hit that shit out and make up afterwards. But don't call my wife no out her name. Talking about she eat pork chops and all this don't even eat me you feel me like my wife healthy as a mom she keep my ass healthy you know what i'm saying so the music ain't gonna stop so if y'all take it like that like but you apologize to them i feel like a nigga owe me apology my wife for apology for even coming at me like the fuck on my wife like nigga you don't know me man i don't know you nigga we can get money, but that's an apology right there, like, my nigga. Apologize to that. Because if it's one person on earth that I take a bullet for, that I say fuck everything for, is my wife, nigga. Take it how you want to take it. I hope we can resolve this shit peacefully. If we can't, I will be ready at all times all times now for those of you that's interested in our new music yes bone thugs we got a lot understand this understand this we have we are nowhere near finished we didn't we
Nigga talking about what do you do, man? That shit had me so, so ready to kill a nigga right now. He's telling me, oh, Atlanta, man, we get all that. I'm not scared of that nigga. I'm on this call because I don't want it to go there. Either you going to hear me and we going to talk or we going to fight nigga, when we see each other. We the same, about the same size. I sized you up already. I'm 145 pounds, 5'11", really 5'10", but 5'11". And then on top of that, I guess he also said something about guns or something because both of them make claims about how, you know, they're taking it too far with like bullets and guns and stuff. So then Busy Bone... This is where it got real comical. Because Lazy Bone, you know, even though I didn't even listen to the track, maybe it is whack, I don't know. But, you know, he was kind of being level-headed about it. Then Busy Bone come drunker than a skunk or whatever. I don't know what he was on, whether it be alcohol or other. But he went on live and he had his rifle or whatever and showing that, you know, they not the only ones with guns and he got guns too. And then the cop showed up. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Who the fuck you think you talking to? Nigga? You ain't the only nigga with guns. I got You up, my niggas? We rocking? The police is at the border. The police is at the That mess was the funniest mess I done seen in a long time. Like, how you making threats on live, incriminating yourself, and the cops show up? Like, all of it in one just is the most hilarious package ever. The police is at the But that's all the tea and all the back and forths as of right now between the Migos and Bone Thugs in Harmony. And like I said, I felt like Lazy Bone had like a fair argument. And then he dropped a song that kind of didn't help his argument. Because if you're going to say that you're the best, then you got to drop the best records. You got to drop the best songs if you're going to challenge somebody. And then on top of that... Busy Bone hops in and he's drunker than a skunk or whatever he is, gets on live, threatens them, and it's just going downhill from there and making them look bad when I wanted to root for them. Like, I wanted to root for the guy who wants to make it about skill and everything like that. I wanted to root for them. Like, we were all rooting for you, but it's just not, you know, I don't know. What do y'all think about this back and forth? Let's talk about it in the comments. All right, guys, that's all for this video. Stay tuned for more celebrity news and gossip. But in order to do that, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button right now. Don't wait. Do it right now. All right, guys. Peace.